107.5 WGCI, the shot is number one for hip-hop and R&B. It's the morning show with the destined legend, Leon Rogers. Yeah. The beautiful Kendra J, myself, the shortest damn man in Chicago, Kyle. And uh, Psychic <laughs> Susan in the building, Chicago. Hello, hello. Uh, How yeah. are you guys doing today? Right. So great, man. Talk to, to me. We're glad to have you here once again. I love being here. So, you know that. It's been like a year now that you've come on our show like every other month. Oh, yeah. I want to say a year. It's great. For those who don't know, maybe their first time listening, just give them a little background of the Susan medium also because you also can channel people that have passed on. We had a great time at McCormick Place and for all of those that came, I want to say a very special thank you because I so enjoyed being there. What a great time that so, was. Why don't you explain the a little bit? Yeah, the Black Women's Expo. Yes. Susan, we did a panel with Susan and it was really good. Like a lot, It was a lot more medium things oh, there. It was all medium. It was all medium yeah. where people were um, uh, you loved ones, yeah, loved ones that had passed on that were able to be channeled through Susan yeah. with messages that really were break free moments for the people that were in the room. There were, they like, were like nobody knew that. Yeah, it was break free moments. So it, it was like you got to see Susan live in action. We got to do that again. We'll do it again. Yeah, because okay. that was really something. Yeah. And and you know what? I just want to say that's what this is about. So for anybody who's a little skeptical, try just to open your mind up without you thinking and putting your opinion into it because sometimes in anything we do when we put our opinions into it that's what kind of taints everything from really mm. coming through mm. so I, I've noticed that so many people they get down on themselves for various different things and that is really what's screwing everything you up. You have to almost unlearn. You do mm -hmm. and start from scratch. Yeah. You know? Alright well I know we don't, we, we're, you're here we want to take advantage of all the time that we I have know. with you and people on the phone lines right now so that's a little synopsis of who Psychic Susan is. Yeah. So what you do right now Chicago is you call up you have your question ready and have your birthday ready, and then you ask Psychic Susan a question, and she'll do her best to give you an answer, right? Right. Thank right you. Right now, we have Amelia on the line. Her birthday is March 30th. Amelia, what is your question for Psychic Susan? Um, I, I just want to know something. Just out of the way, I was specific question. You don't have a... Sp okay. Hi, Amelia. How are you? I'm okay. Yeah? You're not very happy these days. I think you're a little... No. I know. You're... you're I think... No offense, but I think you're very frustrated. I, think, I am. I know. You've had it with life, and you've had it with people disappointing you. That's so true. I just, I'm just so over everybody. I don't blame you. Some days I get like that, too. <laughs> <laughs> no, honestly. Um, but here's what I do want to say, okay, in a very spiritual way. Do not let life bitter you it's very easy for that to happen and i know it's it's yeah 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 you're gonna say susan but honestly if you stay in a bitter mode more bitterness will come to you laws of attraction so your spirit's got to be a little bigger than that and you need to do something a little different because you're kind of robotic you keep doing the same thing over and over again expecting different things to happen Right, and I'm, I'm thinking about um, moving to Florida just to change up. I'm so over, I'm just so over Chicago and all this violence, and it's just too much. Mm -hmm. Well, here's what I would suggest you do. Um, I want you to go to Florida when it's the worst time of the year versus uh, the best time of the year for them. Because if you really want to go there, you want to explore it in its entirety. So... Pay attention, go on little uh, weekends, and you'll be surprised what comes through, okay? Okay, thanks. All right, all, all right, the best. Uh, <laughs> all right, well, let's get the conversation going. We got Valina on the line. Her birthday is April the 5th. Valina, what is your question for Psychic Susan? Okay, I've been volunteering um, at a daycare. It's very th uh, therapeutic for me right now because I had a miscarriage last year. Mm -hmm. But I went to school for medical administrative assistant, and I just want to see, do you see me doing that anytime soon? I actually see you doing all of that within two to three years. Mm. Okay, um, go for it. You need to do that. You love the nurturing, but you like fixing people. Yeah, I actually like helping people a lot. Well, you have, never been. you have a humanitarian soul, but seriously, you need to do that. And I need to say something to you. I'm, I'm sorry about your miscarriage, um, but you will have a child. Know it. <laughs> Stop getting oh. upset thinking that it's never going to happen because I know you do. Don't do that. <laughs> Don't do that. Are you okay? Yes, I'm okay because I actually do be thinking that. <laughs> I know. I know. But I actually do see you having a child. And once you have a child, you better be careful because you're going to start. You're very fertile. 
once mm. this happens. So, <laughs> fertile myrtle, you're going to be having another one, another one if you're not careful. Fertile soil. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. So, Keep so, practicing. That child's coming. Yeah. Don't let nobody but, play around in that dirt. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God. We are doing silly. <laughs> <laughs> you tell him. We are. Really? <laughs> oh, no, no, no. But I do see that. So please don't doubt. It will happen, okay? But I do want you, I want to say something. Go and be who you are and keep going with it because everything will start falling in place for you. I do. Oh, thank you so much. I, thank you for that. I do. Really quick, did you have um, an uncle or a grandfather you were close to? Um, I keep getting, not really. I don't. Not uncle or grandfather. Okay, I keep getting a male coming through, and I really like him, but he seems to be around you, kind of guiding you. And this man, <laughs> this man um, is a very protective soul. Okay, I just want to tell you that. I just keep getting oh. this man. I don't know who this man is, and I keep getting a one-syllable name. So he was called something for short, but just something's coming to me with this. I don't know why. I needed to tell you that. Oh, okay. Thank you. Think, oh, I always th like to hear that. Yeah, Thank but you. but no, but 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 no. La later on, really think about it because it's going to come to you. Like, oh, I know what she was saying. Now, I'm just telling you, he's around you. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Belinda. You're welcome. All the best. All right. Here we go. Kiki is on the line. Her birthday is January 13th. Kiki, what is your question for Psychic Susan? I want to know um, what my marriage. And or um, like, will we end it in divorce, or will we be getting back together? Me and my husband have been separated for six months now. Um, hi, Kiki. I'm sorry. I'm sorry that's happening. I know that's really tough. Um, when's your hu husband's birthday? <clears throat> His birthday is April 15th. Okay. Okay, Kiki. Here's the thing that's really hard for you, uh, and don't take this the wrong way, but you've got to let him be. You're trying to micromanage okay. everything that you think he's supposed to be and how you're supposed to have it. you got to give him some space, and you do. I'm being really honest with you. I like you, and I like your responsibility, but he doesn't have it the same way you see it. Okay. That's where you're making the mistake. So the more you're on him, the farther away he wants to be. Mm. Talk that talk, Psych. So I hate up, to say Kyle. it that way, but no, you know what, Kiki, you're a really good, responsible soul, but he is not that way. It's almost like the more you take a step back, seriously, just try it. Try taking a step back and try not to micromanage how you think he needs to be and see what he gives you. You'll actually be surprised how he'll come back, but then you're going to look at him without you having to tell him every minute what to do. Is this the man you still want to be with? So by you taking a step back, it's actually going to teach you something. Okay. Right now, all you want is what you can't have, and, and you're focusing on what you can't have instead of really focusing, is this the person that I really need to be with? Okay. Okay. And if that don't work, take some thirst trap pictures and put them on IG. <laughs> <laughs> Go to the Kendra G School or thirst trap, trap bikini photo. <laughs> I guarantee you it'll come back. All the best, Kiki. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Thank you. All, All right. right. Selena's on the phone right now. Her birthday is April 18th. Selena, what is your question for Psychic Susan? Well, I was in a, I'm in a relationship right now. It's kind of new, but things are moving fast. So I was just trying to see... If this is something I should continue, or... When's this person's birthday, please? Hi, Selena. Hi, April 18th. That's your birthday. When's this person's birthday? Oh, his birthday is June 1st. I think he's really <laughs> worth getting to know. Okay. I do. I really like him. But you know what? It's almost like he's going to follow you. You're not going to follow him. You take the lead in this relationship. And I like the calmness that he brings you. You know, that's so funny because I tell him that all the time. Mm -hmm. Like, he eases my anxiety. But I then know. I, like, he I is. Other stuff and I, then I get nosy and want to go through stuff. Well, don't do that. Don't do that. You know, seriously, I know you want to go through things, but don't because, you know, you need to trust a little bit what comes through even with your own instinct. But this man is a nice man. And I don't think this oh. man is going to hide things because he's not that good in lying. All the best. Enjoy him. Okay. Awesome. Thank uh, you so much. You are so welcome. Bye-bye. All right, let's go to the phone lines. We have Cardi on the line. Her birthday is August 19th. What is your question for Psychic Susan? I just want to 
know something about myself that I don't know already. That you what? I just want to know something about myself that I don't know. That you don't know. That you don't know. I think you have a lot in you if you let the anxiety and you need to work on your anxiety a bit. And you need to uh, not be too pushy sometimes in what you want. So anxiety and patience, you better really learn that. You're going to get yes. more. Because I'm telling you, you don't have it. So get some patience. Tell yourself each and every day that what it is you want will happen. Mm. Okay? And yeah. Yeah, because you don't. You sa you really kind of sabotage. And sometimes you come on too strong for people, and they're a little intimidated by you. Okay. <laughs> and I know people take you the wrong way, and I don't think they take you the truthful way of who you really are. Mm. True. Thank you. All right, all the best. All right, we got Nisha on the line. Her birthday is February the 12th. Nisha, what is your question for Psychic Susan? Thank you, Susan. So I want to know if me and my child's father have a romantic future. When's your child's father's birthday? January 12th. Actually, yes. You actually do have a future with him. Okay. That's what I wanted to know. Thank you. Wow. Good for you. All the best. This is good. I feel a really positive vibe with you both. It's good. Go for it. Enjoy. Thank you. All she, right. She tried to hurry up and get off the phone before you told her something else. <laughs> Okay, thanks, bye, bye, Susan. Yeah, that's, that's all I wanted. That's all I wanted. <laughs> <laughs> she wasn't going to let you say nothing. As soon as you said it, she said, okay, all right, bye. I'll take it, I'll take it, man, I'm going. Yeah, I'm going. But, but, you know, how said, many times do I get not great vibes with right, these people? Right. Because they're picking the wrong <laughs> ones, and this one's like, yeah, I like this. She thought she was going to be like, yes, you do have a minute. Bye. Right. She didn't want to hear nothing else. That's right. Perfect. That's right. That's right. Perfect. That's right. 107.5 WGCI, the shot's number one for hip-hop and R&B. It's the morning show with the Destin legend, Leon Rogers, the beautiful Kendra G, the shortest damn man in Chicago, Kyle, and, of course, our guest for the day, Psychic Susan, in the building. The legend. She's been doing an amazing job all morning. We just want to thank you for coming through and doing what you're doing. Just kind of let people know that, yo, you've come through and you've changed a lot of people's minds as far as believing in what it is that you practice. Well, you know I, I, I'm going to set you guys up because yeah. Susan and I met at Fox about a year and a half ago mm -hmm. and I remember I talked to the boys about bringing her on the show and they were skeptical. People oh, yeah. are skeptical mm -hmm. over yeah. psychic mediums. So yeah. I think that Kyle and Leon... That, that wasn't really believers at first. Yeah, because my, you know, we do this on the radio for a while, and in my radio career, there's been different type of psychics that have come on my different shows, mm -hmm. and they've, they've all got it wrong. According to one, I'm supposed to be living in Tennessee right now. <laughs> there was one time I was up for a job in Philadelphia, actually, and the psychic told me I was going to get it. I didn't get that job. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, yeah. you know, I've, I've been told a lot of things that didn't come true, but since you've been here, I've been a believer. For, for me, I, I kind of looked at you all as snake oil salesmen. You know, yeah. back in the old west, yeah. the guy would come into town and yeah. sell these tonics. Right. People yeah. drinking them, like, oh, I feel good. And then three days later, they die of, you know, uh, some crazy bubonic plague. But even when you came in, I noticed something. When you came in, not talking to us for a while, you just came in. You said the energy in the room, you was like, she's gold. She was like, you two guys are hazy. And Ryan was totally black. And then when we went around and gave our opinion, she was like, oh, I said, oh, maybe she's on to something. And then you started telling me stuff about my family that I know you yeah. couldn't have known because we hadn't talked. And I just started turning the corner and then getting to know you as a person kind of helps me. I'm not going to say I'll be like that with everybody else. I I'll honestly say that. I still mm -hmm. might be skeptic of other mm -hmm. people, mm -hmm. but I know yeah. Susan is solid. And Look, we appreciate you coming by, but we also want you to put your information out there for people that want to reach you. Okay, you can email me at S-R-O-W-L-E-N at Hotmail.com. So it's srolin at Hotmail.com. You can go to my website, SusanRolin.com. Um, also, subscribe to my YouTube page because there's a lot of things that explain a lot there. And I think you'll get a lot of answers just listening. So subscribe to that. You'll get a lot of messages. I also have a shout-out. Sandra, Corey, Thera, Resija, Denisha, Rosalind, Letitia. Love you guys all. I enjoy Letitia. all of it. Yep, I got a Letitia. <laughs> I, I, know. Our listeners. I love it. You'll so, be the hood thank you. Soon. Thank Susan, you. real quick yes. before you go, yeah. my buddy Lil Tone just hit me. And he said uh, he wanted to know, could you tell him whether or not the police going to be on his route? Because he got a pickup. <laughs> and it's like 20 pounds. Don't make yourself an accomplice. a lot of money. <laughs> <laughs> he just want to know if, what he encountered. Highway or short. Or like, <laughs> like the highway or, or yeah, back yeah, road. Yeah, I think he's been hanging out with Clint Eastwood. Right. <laughs>
Psychic <laughs> Susan. That was a great movie. <laughs> Thank you for being here today. Thank you for having we me. I love it. always being here. And we'll, well, when's the next time? It'll be okay, like we'll a month and a half. In another so, month and a half, guys. Yeah, so. All right. So thank you. Thank you. I always love it. You guys are always my favorite. Seriously, I've been on a lot of radio, a lot of TV. You guys, I'm home here. Uh, yeah. And I mean that. Thank I mean you, that. Thank you. All right. So thank you. And, and you know what? Go out and just let live. Okay? All right. There it is. Psychic right. Susan, thank you so much. Stick around. The G-Spot is on the way to Chicago right now. Let's go ahead and get into this Meek Mill and Dangerous. It's WGCI.